We are out this weekend camping at another new state park, Clifty Falls. We have a nice three day weekend here, so we're gonna put it all together for you, see what you think. Well, we're all set up here at Clifty Falls State Park in our campsite. What's better than one runaway, hun? Two runaways, our friends, Peg and Greg, are set up next to us with their little ARB and their setup. So we're gonna show you what it all looks like. They have been our friends for 20 years and they seen that we were having so much fun with our runaway, they bought one too. I think it's 25 years. Oh wow, it's been yeah. that long. Yeah. Let's run over there and take a look at their runaway. Okay, we got over here and Peg drew the short straw. She has to be on camera with us. <laughs> so this is our fr uh, friends Peg and Greg and they uh, have purchased this used runaway. So we get a lot of questions. People asking us, hey, can you find a good one, a uh, used one? And I, you know, I want to say that um, they're proof that you can find it. Yep. You find the deals. There's good ones out there and you just have to look and you'll find one. The one we found was in excellent shape. We just have to thank them for taking good care of it. Yep, they, yep. they drove down to Raleigh and picked this yep. up. So they've had it, how long have you guys had this now? One year. One year, so yep. one year. they've got it fixed up really nice. So let's go in and take a look at it. This is our home away from home. This is where we run away. We put a TV up and we have an antenna and uh, we also can get Netflix. We've got a little hot spot. And if there's nothing on any of that, then we have a CD player that we'll hook up. We have a few selections that we set it up so that we have our bed. We've got storage underneath that we can store our food and such. And then we've got our um, tubs that have our clothes and our belongings. And then all the little miscellaneous things that you might need are in here. And we've had a great time with it. The lights were already up when we got it. and. Uh, it makes it nice. It's our home away from home. Yeah, on our uh, Range Runner, uh, it came really nicely equipped uh, when we purchased it. Uh, it's got the uh, fancy wheels on it. I like that. Uh, they make it kind of set it off a little bit. Uh, it's got the roof racks. Uh, they were already on. It's got the front carrier. And uh, we do have the rear door. We really like the rear door. It uh, makes it nice to get in and out. We can get things underneath the bed. We store our food supplies and things like that underneath the bed. Uh, we did add the ARB uh, 2500 awning. Uh, I searched around trying to find a good awning and I really like it. And it's turned out to be a, just an excellent investment. Uh, we use the awning in the summer and then cooler weather, we added the uh, room itself and it's all screened in. Uh, we have a little heater that we put in it. Uh, keeps us nice and toasty uh, in the cooler months. And uh, it's a place where our, our dogs can actually stay there as well. So they sleep out there and we sleep inside the, the camper. So just a really neat uh, way to camp and we love it. And just excited to be able to uh, go out and, and see God's creation in our camper. So that's just a little peek at their camper. Uh, you know, like I said, people ask all the time, can you find used ones online? And they've got one on Facebook and uh, at the Runaway Campers uh, owner's Facebook, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were able to find a really nice deal from a really nice gentleman that was uh, upgrading. And so uh, they have joined the club and they've joined uh, us in some camping. They actually live right down the road from us. So uh, it's kind of fun. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at their camper. I guess I don't have to tell you, Ed's got us out here on a hike. Well, if you're gonna go to Clifty Falls State Park, you gotta go take the Clifty Falls hike. And apparently the drought has affected the fall. When the water is really running hard, they have this barrier-like thing, I guess, so it doesn't shoot and take out these steps and kind of like slows it down, I don't know. But Ed's got to turn around and show you these steps I just came down. And then I got to go back up them. We'll see how that goes. Do you see what I mean? Look at this.
things I like about this trail is it really just hugs the Clifty Creek here. And when you walk down, uh, you can look down in here and see, uh, I guess in the springtime, the water really runs through here. But uh, yeah, we're having a good time. I cannot get over this time of year and all the flowers that are still in blue. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. We've had a drought in Indiana and uh, the past few weeks there hasn't been much rain. So we're surprised at how many flowers you see here. in the creeks. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think we better catch up with our friends. They're up in front with us. So we're going to get They're hauling. They're more in shape than us. <laughs> we're going to get hauling up there and catch up to them. Just off the parking lot is the CCC structure. So this is a shelter house. And uh, I really like looking at these, as you know. Um, as I pointed out before, when you look at all the the scrapes and the logs and everything, you can see where you know some young man stood on top of that and just shaped that out. And you know, it's fun to think about those people and um, you know what a life they must have had here uh, shaping these out. One of the things. Uh, that I really like about this structure here. It's a little bit different from some of the others that you see is um, this is a low roof uh, shelter. So it's kind of the same design that we've seen up in Pokagon State Park uh, this winter. So uh, a little bit different. If you see some shelters got a really high roof on it, this is a low roof shelter. And uh, I like looking at that. Let's go inside and look at the fireplace because uh, they got a fireplace that was built in here and um, it's pretty cool too. So let's go inside. So we stepped inside the shelter. It's a little dark in here right now, uh, just because of the shade, but you can see a uh, pretty cool fireplace built in uh, the corner here. Most of the time, uh, they would have just built these out of, you know, the local stone and things they found in the area. Um, one of the things I want to show you here is if you walk to the other end of this shelter, so they got the fireplace on one end, and then back in the day, they built these, it's closed up now, but they built a kind of like an area for concessions. So you can see that once upon a time there was a window there they could serve concessions and things like that. They don't they don't leave those things open much anymore. You don't see them, but um, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I like this uh, shelter here. If you, let me see if I can hop up on this table here. You can see here uh, on this beam, they had this metal uh, brackets that they formed here. So those would have been forged by hand and and put together and you can see the bolts uh, that go through there they've got the same thing in the corner over there so this is this is really interesting to look at and the, the different cuts and the beams uh, i like to look at those and you know i just along the same lines as uh you know looking at the hand hewed things uh the hand hewed logs you have to think about uh you know back in the day a long time ago some young man put those bolts together and tightened them up. And uh, they're still here today, even though they're probably long gone now. But yeah, really cool structure. And it's fun to walk around and think about these things. Okay, do you see that right over there? That's where we were. So we could have just come here and seen that instead of walking all those steps to see that. I don't understand. We just did trail nine to the nature center. I went in the nature center just for a teeny tiny bit because they have way too many snakes. But now we are on the trail to the lookout tower? The observation tower. Oh, okay, okay. So it's a pretty, pretty nice trail. It'll be going up and yeah, it, this one's an easy trail. No, I don't think I don't think this tower is very tall. No. So you might be able to, you might. Nancy doesn't like to uh, climb the tall towers because of her ankle, but um, this tower I don't think is very tall. So we'll see. anyway, this one we should get some good shots of the Ohio River. 
overlooking that. So, and we just had a turkey sight. Uh, not turkey. Not a turkey. A, a turkey. turkey. <laughs> so wild turkeys are out in this area. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, I made it up to the top of the tower here. Nancy decides she'd sit this one out down there at the bottom with Herky. Uh, this tower is not too tall. It, it almost looks like they took a fire tire and cut it off. But uh, wow, look at the view over my shoulder there. You can see the uh, barges down on the river. So we're enjoying taking a look at this. And uh, as my buddy Greg says, we get to see the uh, Indiana Eagles. <laughs> Actually, uh, they're just uh, turkey vultures uh, flying over here. So. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun looking at it, but uh, take a look at this beautiful view. All right, I've walked up here to the inn a little bit. It's a little windy today. Um, Clifty Falls has a really nice in but uh, the thing that uh, is I find interesting about this is so this inn is not the original inn so in 1924 uh, an inn was built here and uh, it lasted until 1974 it was quite a popular place but in 1974 a tornado hit this area and demolished this inn beyond repair so in 1974 they built another inn here and began operations again. Uh, I believe it was in 2018 or something like that. Another tornado hit the inn and they once again had to rebuild the inn. So this, uh, yeah, you'd have to kind of think about whether or not you want to stay here during tornado season. This inn has been hit twice by tornadoes, but they've done a good job of rebuilding it. So I'm going to take you inside and you can take a look at the views off the back deck are just amazing uh, of being able to see the Ohio River. So let's walk inside and take a look at it. They got a nice photo here. This is the end that you would have seen as it was in 1924. It's a pretty big place and like I said in the, uh, in the opening there, this got destroyed by a tornado. But they still got a picture of it here so you can kind of see what it used to look like. Take a look at this view. This is really cool. So we uh, moved over to the other side of the end. This is where the banquet hall is at. But as you look down through there, you can see Madison, Indiana, and the Ohio River, and the bridge going across the river. Oh, it's a beautiful vista, and a beautiful uh, area to just sit and relax. Wow. That wraps up the weekend. That was too fast. They always go too fast, don't you think? I think so. Herky's had a good time here. Yes. He is very interested in the people next to us who are just getting here. <laughs> yeah, he's watching them set up. So, hey, we really appreciate everybody that's watched our video. We just thank you for following along every week. If you don't mind, uh, subscribe to our channel. We'd love it. It just lets us know that uh, you guys are out there. But uh, until next Sunday. We're going to take Herky for a walk. Bye. Bye. Bye.